One issue that attracted the attention of both the government and the parliamentary opposition all of last year and even earlier had to do with the anti-money laundering bill. That bill was passed in the parliament recently amidst comments by the opposition that it was non-compliant with the Financial Action Task Force and the Caribbean Financial Action Task Force. The bill is now on the desk of His Excellency. Um, it has already been, been, been sealed and I suspect that within a very short space of time, His Excellency will be signing it. Minister Joseph Harmon said that this is only part of the equation. The drive is also to satisfy Guyanese that the bill addresses those issues peculiar to Guyana. International compliance is one aspect of it, but it also requires some other administrative action to be taken by the state. But Mr. Harmon said that even if the bill is found to be compliant today, a few months or a few years down the road, this bill might not be FATF or CFATF compliant. International institutions, they have a series of reviews, maybe their annual reviews and so on. So that even if the legislation is FATF compliant, that maybe next year they will come and do a review and see something else. So that it is, it is a living kind of legislation that you adjust from time to time based on international best practices. He said that his government is confident that the legislation will make the country CFATF and FATF compliant at this time. There were attempts to blacklist Guyana for the non-passage of the legislation. International banking institutions had actually restricted their involvement in moving money in and out of Guyana. Remittances were either rejected or delayed. To his credit, President Donald Ramatar staved off blacklisting until now. Adam Harris, Prime News.